we will learn two concepts one is recursion it's a very powerful idea from combinatorics in fact um, it's also used in number theory it's used in a variety of advanced problems and then there is the other concept of derangement that we have discussed in a previous video so I will quickly tell you what is derangement one more time but you should watch the video that we have published before what is derangement suppose there are three slots slot 1 slot 2 and slot 3 and then there are three numbers 1 2 and 3 a derangement is a rearrangement of these three numbers such that none of them goes to their same slot so one doesn't go to slot one two doesn't go to slot two three doesn't go to slot three so they are in a, in some sense they are completely shuffled none of them goes to their original position so one example of derangement is one goes to slot two two goes to slot three and 3 goes to slot 1. This is one example of derangement. Okay, now that's what derangement is. Now what is recursion? We have also discussed recursion in our combinatorics module at Chinta. But in, in short, recursion is a way of expressing relations or formulas. So I'm using the word relation very uh, very loosely here. Relation has a mathematical connotation. But uh, in, in very simple terms, recursion is a type of formula to express sequences of numbers. For example, if I tell you in a sequence, the first term is 0, the second term is 1, and the third term onward, you add the previous two terms so this is for n greater than 2 so first term or 0th term is 0 1th term is 1 and the 2th term onward a second term onward uh, I shouldn't say second n equal to 2 onward you just add the previous two terms to get the a2 so to get, get A2, you add A0 plus A1, which is 1. So if you, know, uh, if you know this sequence, you know this is a Fibonacci sequence. You can try out uh, and create some uh, like 10 terms of this sequence and study this sequence. This is a very beautiful sequence in its own right. But notice that I'm expressing the nth term in terms of few previous terms of the sequence so I don't have a direct formula for a n so I don't I can I cannot just plug in n into this formula and get the nth term so in contrast we have the triangular numbers we have the triangular numbers which are we, we can give, give a direct formula or analytical formula for those Triangular numbers are these 1, 1 plus, so this is 1, this is 3, then we have 6, and so on. So we can find a direct formula. So this is the first term, the second term, the third term, and so on. We can find a direct formula, an analytical formula for the triangular numbers. Can you create both a recursion and a direct formula for triangular numbers? and put it in the description let's see if you can do it like in the comment section all right so what we really want is to discuss our um, formula recursive formula for derangement so a recursive recursive formula for derangement now what does it mean? It means if I know how many derangement 
are possible. Suppose dn is the number of derangements possible for n numbers. For n numbers. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n and you have slot 1, slot 2 up to slot n and everything is completely shuffled. So 1 doesn't go to slot 1, 2 doesn't go to slot 2 and n doesn't go to slot n and so on. So none of them goes to their original position. Suppose the number of ways of doing this is dn. Notice that we do not know an exact formula for dn at this point. Uh, there is an exact formula, but we don't know it right now. All we are saying is dn is the number of ways of actually doing this. Reshuffling 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n in these n slots such that none of them goes to their original position. What I want is to express dn in terms of dn minus 1 and dn minus 2. What is dn minus 1? dn minus 1 is number of ways of shuffling n minus 1 numbers in n minus 1 slots such that none of them go to their original position. Similarly, n my dn minus 2 is the number of ways of shuffling n minus 2 numbers such that none of them goes to their original position. Now, I'll give you a hint in this particular video and in the next one, we will be discussing the complete solution. This is part of the combinatorics module at Chinta. So you can also check the link in the description for more information about the course, the online course. Okay. It's for Math Olympiad or ISI entrance. Now, the formula is like this. dn is equal to n minus 1 times dn minus 1 plus dn minus 2. So we want to show this. So this is the claim. Okay. Now I'll remind you what we are saying here. This dn is the number of ways of deranging, deranging n numbers. And what is dn minus 1? Well, it is the number of ways of deranging n minus 1 numbers. Instead of n, you'll have n minus 1. And here, number of ways of deranging n minus 2 numbers. So somehow, this recursion formula works. And we want to know why. I'll give you the first step of this argument, why this works. So suppose we have n numbers, 1, 2, up to n. And then we have slot 1, slot 2, up to slot n. Now, the first, the, we will first ask, where is 1 going? Remember, we are counting dn. We are counting dn. We are counting the number of ways of deranging n numbers. So, 1 cannot go to slot 1, right? one cannot go to its original position. So suppose, suppose one goes to slot two. So this is the first case actually. Suppose one goes to slot two. One goes to slot two. Now, what will happen to the number two? There are two cases really. Case one, Case 1 is 2 goes to slot 1. Case 2, 2 does not go to slot 1. Now, I'll give you a hint. If 2 goes to slot 1, then the number of derangements under these conditions, that is 1 going to 2 and 2 going to 1, so 1 going to slot 2, and 2 going to slot 1. Under these conditions, the number of derangements possible is dn minus 2, right? Because we have sh flipped these two, and for the remaining ones, we have n minus 2 objects here, 
3, 2, n and minus 2 numbers they need to get deranged in this n minus 2 slots so the number of ways of deranging these n numbers in this n, n minus 2 numbers in this n minus 2 slots is dn minus 2 and somehow you have to argue that if for the case 2 when 2 does not go to slot 1 that case is dn minus 1 this is a very clever argument, very simple when you hear it completely. If you know why, you can put it in the comment section. In the next video, I will give you the complete proof, but I'll let you think about it for a moment. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Keep on doing great mathematics.